Good Saturday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. This is our latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video, very important to say that, exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. And we're going to be taking a look at a lot of things across the Mid-South, including some webcams. We'll take a look at some almanac details and see what the sun and moon are doing out there when it comes to length time and sunrise, things like that. Your complete forecast, plus it could always be worse. It's been very hot in the Mid-South over the last several days and weeks. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a bit, but it could always be hotter. More on your complete forecast on that. Also check out the stripe at the bottom of the screen and you can see more about the forecast there with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s today, lows back in the 70s tonight with isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms possible across parts of the area into the rest of the day today and into later on this evening. Already been one severe thunderstorm warning early this morning across parts of northwest Tennessee, but no damage or injuries to report on that. And throughout the course of the rest of the day, looking at some fairly warm conditions out there with temperatures again fluctuating throughout the day. Numbers back in the upper 70s to the mid to upper 80s depending on how much clouds and rainfall you get out across the area. So please keep in mind that before you head out the door and take the umbrella with you. Today going for again so a little bit more coolness out there. You can probably risk a hot cup of java this morning but on our exclusive cough temp decks our tongue-in-cheek exclusively tongue-in-cheek coffee temperature recommendation based on what the weather's doing outside index but cough temp decks is a lot more easy to pronounce and it's a lot better kind of cool catchy name on social media i'd go for icy froth coolness as we go into the rest of the day something to cool off your taste buds graceland a little bit of sunshine poking through the cloud cover at the home of the king of rock and roll along elvis presley boulevard in south memphis cloud cover a little bit of light shining on through from the saint jude k research camera across the area in downtown just north of downtown memphis university of mississippi campus at the track and field area a few people out and about getting some work in this morning and it looks like a little bit of maintenance going on as well but nothing in the way of rainfall and you can see a little bit of some shade down section of your screen but otherwise not looking at too much of any problems there olive branch from former mayor of olive branch sam Riker's webcam lots of clouds not too much sunshine here we'll be looking back toward the sunset this evening hopefully we'll be able to see it and from city hall another one of mr Riker's webcams from the weather underground network showing temperatures again fairly mild looks like it's fairly breezy out there from time to time and not doing too bad. Germantown X Airbus driver's webcam, a beautiful backyard, gorgeous conditions out there. It looks like great for sitting around and watching the pond lilies floating for just a little bit, but mostly cloudy skies out across much of the area. Looking into the rest of the Mid-South, on the rest cams out there showing again a lot of cloud cover out into the area but we don't have too much to worry about in the way of wildfire danger we're still on the low side and we do not have anything to worry about in the way of wildfire danger at least from burn bans taking place across any of the tennessee arkansas or mississippi counties in the news channel 3 viewing area so stay tuned for more on that earthquakes nothing to report directly in the mid-south over the last 24 hours we had one earthquake last week uh, very close to a 3.0 around the boot heel of Missouri, but nothing taking place directly in the Mid-South over the last about 24 hours or so. Looking into the rest of the forecast, again, fairly hot and humid. And very much on the steamy side, but remember, it could always be worse. Temperature yesterday in Memphis was 95 degrees for a high. Record high, not really, and nowhere close to the U.S. temperature that was the hottest, 116 degrees. Definitely hotter in Death Valley, California, that from Friday, July 8th. Almanac, we're here in the Mid-South, again, a high of 95 yesterday, low of 81, 92, and 74 are our normal, so definitely above normal as we got into yesterday. No rainfall across the area from Memphis yesterday. We're ahead by a fraction of an inch for the month and for the year. We could definitely use a little bit more for the month. For the year, we're ahead by over eight, nine inches or so, so definitely doing good on rainfall potential there. Moon is at 27% of full waxing towards full. The moon will be rising this morning at 11.08, setting tonight at 11.46, and rising tomorrow just after noon. It will not set on Sunday. It will set on early Monday morning after midnight. Sunshine today at the 14-hour, 23-minute mark, and basically the same thing as we head into early tomorrow. 
rest of the forecast again we'll be giving us some pretty steamy numbers out there chances of showers and thunderstorms not out of the question but still possible into much of the mid-south area if you'd like to see more almanac data links for you at wrag.com slash weather rest of the day today again chances of showers and thunderstorms isolated but still possible across much of the area and we'll be monitoring for those out there temperatures into this afternoon fluctuating through the upper 80s possibly close to the lower 90s but clouds will do a very good job of keeping things down on the temperatures at least for parts of the day not going to see a huge amount of temperature swings tomorrow morning around daybreak lower 70s and less of a chance of rainfall by the time we hit news channel 3 daybreak tomorrow it's going to be warm it's going to be a little breezy and also looking at more chances of showers and thunderstorms to pop up into sunday afternoon and especially sunday evening but still not looking at a great chance for everyone in the mid-south as we get through the rest of the weekend temperatures into the rest of the day today we'll be back close to 90 degrees but not quite there for much of the area into the rest of sunday so the entire weekend we'll see that chance of showers and thunderstorms out there likewise for monday so outdoor activities over the next several days we'll want to plan ahead for the potential of more showers and thunderstorms out there and that could be again a problem remember when thunder roars go indoors if you're responsible for things like vacation bible school outdoor athletic camp stuff like that Everybody back inside, as long as there's lightning and thunder around, let's all play it safe this summer season. And unfortunately, more chances of showers and thunderstorms as we go into the 10-day forecast as we head toward the end of next week. Temperatures back in the mid to upper 90s. It could always be worse. How much worse? Well, take a look at what's going on over in Iraq. It's almost 120 degrees back toward Basra this afternoon in the Iraqi area. 113 in Najaf, 110. Temperatures into Afghanistan. Not quite as bad, but still, or pardon me, for the Arabian uh, Peninsula and area, triple digit temperatures out there. This time, I think I've got it right. This is where we're seeing really quiet condition into much of the country. But for again, if you have friends, loved ones, or relatives serving in the United States military, what weather is doing to so the rest? 101 in area and temperatures throughout the rest of Afghanistan in the mid to upper 80s to the lower 90s. Korean Peninsula to again the west of Japan, temperatures a little bit more pleasant and not much in the way of rain or thunderstorms showing up here with numbers back in the high 70s to around the lower 80s. Weather pictures, thanking my good friend Rob, Rob Wabnum from Topeka, Kansas of a great lightning shot looking from the Westridge Mall in Topeka. Fellow Topeka West alumni Rob and Peter Beckett getting a good shot of a thunderhead cloud in and around northeast Kansas and Vincent Tetuan III, a great picture of a light in the sky. If you take a look on the three o'clock area, you can see it appearing in the right-hand picture. Not too sure if it was a satellite or something else, but just possible. And thanking Vincent, Peter, and Rob for sending in those pictures. And if you have something to send in, please do so we can share them on News Channel 3 Daybreak and our other news shows at twitter.com slash aonic underscore WRG3. Tag me on Instagram at aonic no underscore necessary WRG3. WREG3 and at facebook.com slash Austin Onik WREG. Don't forget to stay tuned for the latest forecast. We'll have more coming up tomorrow morning prior to CBS News Sunday morning. That'll be from 6 to 8 a.m. on News Channel 3 and my complete forecast available on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network. That'll be on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 throughout the course of the rest of the weekend. So tune in for more information there. Questions, concerns, comments, ideas, anything like that, let me know at austin.onik at WREG g.com and definitely want to stay tuned to wreg.com slash weather for complete forecast updates throughout the rest of the weekend again isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms the forecast numbers on the red bar at the bottom of your screen and much of what we're looking at right now just pretty much hot and humid throughout the course of the weekend and into next week but outdoor activities again back indoors if there are thunderstorms around that's a look at your latest news channel 3 forecast i'm meteorologist austin onick from the first defense doppler 3 weather center this has been the latest edition of news channel 3's exclusive video weather blog weather overtime stay tuned to news channel 3 throughout the weekend on air and online for your latest forecast updates